Hi, good morning. Welcome. It's time for Coffee with Me. I'm Susan B. Lahaki, running for President of the United States as a write-in. And now um, the vote is over. It's November 21st, 2020. And um, the I should say the election is over. But uh, the um, Electoral College has not met yet uh, to decide the presidency. They will meet December 14th and place their votes. I will give more details about what happens during the uh, Electoral College and how it all works in another video. I will also go over some issues that came up about voter fraud uh, during my experience traveling around the U.S. and how I feel that uh, New York State has a completely illegal voting system. Um, so that will be also in another video coming up in a couple of days. Um, I was quite disappointed in uh, all the different ways to do voter fraud. So I'm, I'm concerned about the country. I was anyways concerned, and as you know, I love the concept of the United States, but unfortunately we've never really lived up to our dream for all of our citizens. And I would like to work on changing that. It's time that we are united for all and not just for some. So these are sort of my general thoughts right now. And this week I'll go over all my different uh, experiences that bring you up to date with where we are. In general, I had a lovely time in the United States. I'm back in Switzerland at the moment. Uh, I wanted to see my daughter and spend some time here. You know, we have holidays and birthdays coming up, so it was time. I don't have coffee today. I have water. So, one of the U.S. mottos, actually the official U.S. motto is called E Pluribus Unum, which means out of many, one. And that is our biggest um, strongest superpower is that we are diverse, out of many, one. That means united, together, for all. So that's what I want to bring to the country if I am elected president. As you know, I'm coming in as a write-in, so I'm not a Democrat and I'm not a Republican. And in fact, our two-party system is the problem. It's tearing the country apart. It's the us versus them. And until we realize that there are others, not everybody is a Democrat and not everybody is a Republican, but there's also the Green Party and there's also the Libertarian Party. And there's also just individuals like me who are middle of the road who aren't really anything. And um, we need to all come together as a team because our country is failing. We're falling apart in many places and it doesn't have to be this way. And it shouldn't be this way. So for me, if I was president, I would actually uh, utilize both President Trump and Vice President Biden in my close-knit group. Um, also Harris and Pence, I have places for them. Bernie, too. Um, Kaepernick. I have places for many people. So my first focus is on families and on mothers and women's issues, but mothers in particular. There are a whole bunch of moms out there, some are married and some are single, who are trying to raise the next generation, the future. 
and they're struggling. They're struggling, or they were struggling before the coronavirus, but now they're really struggling, some of them. And we need to help them immediately. So I plan on giving mothers immediately a $50,000 uh, salary with training for the next two years. And quite possibly, if the training gets done sooner, they can move quickly up to wherever they are on the scale of the $100,000 um, salary that I would like to offer mothers, starting mothers. So how that scale works is you start at 100000 and you start taking vitamins, you finished your parenting course, and you've declared that with this other person you're going to start becoming a family. And then that first year it's 100000 that way you have money to buy all the necessary things to get a nice home or apartment, whatever you want, a vehicle and all sorts of things that are needed to be good parents. And eat healthy, take care of yourself. These are all things that are important for being a good parent. Then after that, you, um, you go down every year by a thousand. So then it's 99,000, 98,000, and so on. If you start this at the right age, by the time you're 90, you'll be at 30,000 a year. But by that time, maybe you have a different, you know, priority. Um, on the other hand, you know, this could be a stepping stone to something else, to a, a society where we remove money entirely. But until we get to that point, we have to go through these steps. So mothers, families, children are my priority. On day one, that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Education. And um, a diverse group of people from all sides, Democrats and Republicans, I need you on my, in my administration, and we're going to work together. We're not going to hinder each other. We're going to go forward. Then um, the other part is, what do I want to say? Education. The apprenticeship program needs to be implemented in the schools immediately. As we learn, we need nurses. So I think everyone should just, all kids at a certain age have to go and learn to be a nurse. You learn how to be a nurse with children, how to learn to be a nurse with, uh, so people your age, or uh, I guess not your age, but um, um, yeah, middle-aged or even mothers and things like that, and then also elderly people. So you learn to give care. And while you do that, you'll still have math and you'll still have science and you'll still have um, history, just not in the way that we're doing it now. And then you'll get a taste of what it is to be in the work world and you can then get a better feel for where you want to go with your life and how you want to contribute to the to the world. So yeah, mothers, children, education, these are all places that need a lot of work. And um, with the virus, we know that we need nurses. So if we just start training all of our young people, then we're going to be in a good way. Then we won't lack that information anymore either. Then um, Adult apprenticeships. So for all the uh, people out there who are unemployed, we're going to get you into an apprenticeship program, start training you, and um, get you working where you can utilize your talents too. Um, yeah. So I definitely plan on using Biden and Harris and Pence and... and President Trump, K 
Kaepernick, uh, Bernie Sanders, you know, Howie Hawkins. The list goes on. So everyone will be joining me, working in my cabinet, on my team, moving us forward. That's how I'm going to bring the country together. Because I'm a write-in. I'm not committed to any particular group. My ideas are middle of the road. And I also want your ideas. I'm not the only one with ideas. With that said, too, we have the 250-year anniversary coming up of the United States in 20, uh, 2026. So we need to be ready to go with our new United States, a polished um, new United States with some new ideas, maybe a new national anthem, I think it's time to look at the Constitution. I don't like being an amendment, and I don't think other people that are amendments like it either. We are all U.S. citizens, and it's time to be recognized as that. We're not amendments. Then, um, yeah, quite possibly a new flag design, too. Something more uniting. So these are uh, things that I would like to get started working on, but I want to bring those decisions to you, the American public, the United States public, I should say. I want to get those out and um, through direct democracy, send them to you. You will decide, be a part of the decision because it's your country too. And then we're going to continue that. I want to know what you, the people, are thinking and wanting. So we are going to start being more including of you, the people. It's your country. We don't have all the answers. No one does. But we can come up with them together and find unity in that. So that's a little bit of where I'm going with the country. So the Electoral College, if you're listening, um, if you like what I'm projecting, if you think I might be able to bring unity to the country, then you might want to choose me. I have lots of other videos where you can see my policies. And uh, I guess that's about all I can say. December 14th is when the Electoral College meets and they have the final vote. Our vote was for voting for the Electoral College people and now they will vote for the real president, the person they feel could lead the country in a united way. E pluribus unum, out of many, one. Thank you for stopping by and listening. I wish you all a wonderful day, wherever you are.